This next example is a follow-up to the previous one, and is ultimately more useful in my opinion. Behold, a camera path that transitions from a non-moving point, smoothly traveling, to another non-moving point. Or how about a shot looking at one specific angle, and smoothly turning to another angle. It's the same principle. We're transitioning from a non-moving point to a moving path in a smooth manner. In the traditional replay feature, this would be easy to pull off because the movement is smooth to begin with. But for HLE, if you try to do this with cam paths, you're probably going to run into oscillation problems, which I'll demonstrate now. Alright, so here we have a clip involving a medic getting a crossbow kill from a very far distance. What I would like is for the camera to sit around this position to capture the kill. Then afterwards, I want the camera to smoothly move towards the medic and stop at his position as he's taunting. If you tried to produce this camera behavior yourself, you'd probably do something like this, where you place points at point A, then you'd go and place points at B. With about this timing. But this doesn't work, because the result you'd get would look like this. You get this weird wiggling behavior that happens around points A and B. This isn't an accident. It's a consequence of how the camp path is mathematically generated. But I'm going to show you how to suppress this behavior so that it looks a lot better. Basically, to get what we want, we have to span points like this. It's critical that the spaces between these points are very small. How fast do you need to spam it exactly? Probably within 0 0.05 seconds of each other. So you'll need to slow down the speed of the demo so you can have enough time to spam the points. How many of these points do you need? I don't know. Just spam it and you'll have more than enough points. I often end up with like 20 points clustered together. When you're done, the last point of this cluster will be when the camp path starts moving. And the first point of this cluster will be when the camp path stops moving. If you do it right, you'll get a path that fixes the wiggling behavior. Let's try it out. So first, get into position at point A. And without moving my mouse, I'll lower the speed a little bit to make it easier to span points. So at the beginning, I'll start placing points at point A like normal. Getting close, so I start spamming points. Then stop spamming and pause, so I have time to make my way to point B. Get into position. Then I resume the demo and start spamming points again when I want the camera to stop at B. After a while, it's okay to stop spamming and just place points like normal, all the way until the very end of the clip. Now, let's go back to see it in action. Looks good to me. The camp path transitions smoothly with virtually no oscillation. When you try doing this, if your camp path is still wiggling too much, you may need to span the points even faster. You can slow down your timescale speed even more to help out with this. And that wraps it up for this technique. Keep in mind though that you have the freedom to shape your camp path in the moving section as well. For example, if we place a point in the middle of this moving section, 
we can manipulate the path it takes, like any other regular camp path. The moving section is flexible, it doesn't have to be a straight line. Overall, this is a great technique to master, and it can be adopted for many other things. For example, it doesn't have to start as a stationary point. It can start off moving and finish as a non-moving point. Or you can keep your camera still and just turn to follow a player, a common gesture used in videos. It's the same concept. Just treat the starting and finishing angles as non-moving points A and B. You can even follow irregular movements if you track the player during the moving section. There's infinite variations you're at liberty to try, so feel free to get creative and do whatever fits best for your clip.